In addition to the guided path and analysis, there is another option for viewing your risk in more detail or from different perspectives. To view these screens, return to the Risk and Vulnerability Analysis screen and then click the Take a Deeper Look at My Risk button. In the Detailed Analysis section, you can individually analyze the contribution to your risk from vulnerabilities, threats, and critical assets. You can also see your highest risk scenarios, propose countermeasures to mitigate risk, and access reports. We're going to start by clicking on Vulnerabilities. In Vulnerability Analysis, you will be able to view your individual vulnerabilities in more detail. To start, we're going to click on our first vulnerability, and we're going to see our vulnerable assets associated with that vulnerability. On the Vulnerability Asset Analysis page, you'll be able to view the assets that are affected by the vulnerability that was selected. You'll also be able to view the current and proposed risk levels for the given assets. Current risk is the risk to the asset accounting for all applicable countermeasures that are in place. Proposed risk is the risk to the asset accounting for all applicable countermeasures that are in place and the ones that have been proposed but not implemented. Select Back to return to Vulnerability Analysis. From the Vulnerability Analysis page, select a row and then click Apply Countermeasures to view the countermeasures that are linked to specific vulnerabilities. The Vulnerability Details screen allows you to view an individual vulnerability in more depth. As you can see here below, these are the countermeasures that are directly linked to mitigating this vulnerability. Some of them we've already proposed. This bar up here can be a little bit confusing for people, so we're going to go over the individual aspects of it. The red part of the bar here is vulnerability that has not yet been mitigated. The yellow is vulnerability mitigated by countermeasures that have been proposed already, like these green ones down here. The small green and yellow hashed area is vulnerability mitigated by countermeasures that have been proposed and then implemented and the large green bar here is the vulnerability mitigated by countermeasures that were originally in place at the time of our assessment. The green slider bar here allows you to set your goal vulnerability level. This is arbitrary and doesn't actually do anything other than just uh, act as a placeholder for a goal you may have to mitigate that specific vulnerability. The purple slider bar actually indicates the vulnerability minimum for the program, which is set to 11%. This is purely to indicate that even if you were to implement everything you could possibly do, you can never mitigate all of your vulnerability. Let's hit back to return to vulnerability analysis.